First and 11 on this Wednesday night for years, we've shown you the nearly unlivable conditions at Eureka Gardens over on the west side of Jacksonville, which has since been renamed Valencia Way. Well, right now, hundreds of people at that complex have been without hot water and heat for nearly a month, and it's expected to go another three weeks because the complex is replacing the entire gas line infrastructure. And so during construction, residents have been given access to temporary bathrooms and showers outside, and now now, lawmakers are demanding change from the federal government. On your side, Shelby Danielson joins us live now with this new call for action. Shelby. Well, Heather and Anthony, if you can imagine having to go outside of your home for a shower and you're using a portable shower in the parking lot of your apartment complex, there's also portable bathrooms actually just like this one here. But if you can imagine having to go out, especially if you have kids in the dark of the night and when it's getting chillier on nights like this, well, it's causing a lot of concern among families there. I think it's worse, especially for the children. Valencia Way residents like Michelle Clark fear their living conditions here will not improve anytime soon. I so actually have to take a bath in the cold water and try to go to school. It's, it's awful. As the complex teams with young kids at play, parents tell us they are worried. The complex is undergoing a gas line replacement. So they have no way to take hot showers, cook meals, or properly clean their clothes. They said six weeks, but I think it's going to be longer than that. Valencia Way Apartments, formerly Eureka Gardens, receives funding through HUD, a federal voucher program that's meant to help low-income families in need. Representative Al Lawson is the latest lawmaker to come out and demand action from HUD, asking the families to be treated with dignity as they continue to pay rent during this difficult time. And some of these units have been renovated on the outside. You can see a fresh coat of paint on the doors here. New steps have been installed, but a lot of the residents say that what you're seeing on the outside doesn't change their conditions here in their everyday life. So I wake up at 6.30 in the morning and this is what I see. Three weeks into her renovated apartment, Clark says she's been battling flooding. This is a recent video she took showing the water damage in her unit. Do you feel like HUD and, and just the system in general has failed you? Yes, I do. We have a copy of the letter from Representative Lawson to HUD. He is demanding that they intervene and offer these families an alternative housing situation and transportation until those gas lines are fully repaired. Reporting live downtown, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News on your side.